Hi there. My name is Jose Mateyeche and I'm the head of product development for BOT. We specialize in blockchain solutions for the healthcare sector, especially for nurses. The main problem we're tackling is the lack of communication in the hospitals due to obsolete protocols. As of right now, most of the handover procedures take place manually. So basically, nurses' notes are being handed with physical papers, which slows down the communication in the hospitals a lot. That's why we're trying to build a platform where nurses can share their notes for patients and doctors uh, within the platform digitally. The main thing that we're tackling is the poor user experience that limited the adoption for software solutions in the healthcare sector. We designed a platform for using mobile devices as well as desktops so that existing nurses' working stations could easily integrate with new net nursing network based on mobile applications. The platform is designed to integrate directly into existing hospital infrastructure so that the additional cost of putting in place this new protocol is minimal. Just some new tablets or some mobile devices where the new platform can run. The system itself will provide interactive maps with the possibility of adding, removing or changing patient notes. In addition to this, the blockchain identification system allows easy logging and prevents unnecessary security protocols with hamper usability and a slow down the communication. The blockchain identification system is a blockchain where the nurse's identities are stored. The IT administrator has to create an account for each individual nurse and whenever she tries to access the platform, if the login details she provides match the ones in the blockchain, she gets a one-time token that she can use to access the platform. In summary, all the information of the platform is stored in traditional databases. Only the identity of the nurses are stored in the blockchain. We're doing this to keep the latency low and not to overcharge the blockchain with information. In order to validate our assumption and actually develop the features in the platform that the nurses need, we've partnered with several universities and hospitals in Ireland. Some of them are UCC, DCU and Blackdoor Clinic. We're doing nursing surveys, focus group with nurses, and doing the system architecture with IT administrators of its existing hospitals to ensure compatibility to the to their actually servers and databases. We're tackling a crucial market with a lot of potential here. 5.2 billion euros are the estimated market size projection for M Health in Europe in 2017. This is our development roadmap looks right now. We have partnered with universities, we have done interviews with nurses, and we are developing our MVP around nurses themselves, doing, doing focus groups and ensuring an iterative product development. Next step is to release our MVP by mid-2017 and then get into an incubator to deploy the platform Europe-wide. We know this might seem like a really ambitious goal. We have the right team to achieve it. Firstly, we have Daniel Flynn. He's our contact to the Irish nurses and hospitals. He has been responsible for our research partnerships and all the focus groups that we are able to do. Then we have Nikolai Nielsen. He's in charge of finance and business intelligence. Then there's Fernando, he's our CEO. He takes care that everything runs like a Swiss car. Then there's Lena. She's our system architecture expert. She develops the blockchain identification system and ensures that it can be adapted to the existing hospital databases. Guillermo, apart from being one of our full stack developers, he also takes care of the digital marketing strategy. And then there's me. I take care of user experience. I ensure that the features the nurses need are developed the most intuitive way possible. Thanks a lot for your attention. We're looking forward for the Q&A.